Hi guys, welcome back to Sammy's Place. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a homemade, any occasion, fun game. So whether it's a birthday party, if you're at your um, friend's house, New Year's, anything going on, any occasion, this is a fun game you can make yourself. It's called, Pat, the original name is Pass the Parcel. But a lot of Americans, they don't know what the parcel means. So they leave that out, they're saying like, pass the gift. And I'm gonna show you how to how to make this gift, and I'm gonna show you how to make this game, well, this gift, but I'm gonna show you how to make this game and all the rules, so let's get to it. It's gonna be a fun video. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. If you're from my other channel, welcome friend. And let's just get to it. So for this game, all you need is a pair of scissors, some tape, and some wrapping paper of your choice and some prizes. So what you see here is just a little bit of prizes. So what I'm saying with prizes is you want to keep it friendly. So if it's going to be a kid's birthday party, you wouldn't put like a scratch off. You might not even put the $50, but if you're playing with adults, then you can. I have like some oatmeal cream pies. I have just an apple for fun. I have a Pringles. It's going to be the main prize. You'll see what I'm talking about in the beginning. I have a pack of gum. These are the tape and the scissors and the wrapping paper is all you need to make this game. And your prizes, once you have all that ready, let's get to it. So the occasion is my sister's birthday party. However, it's January and we just got out of Christmas and I have this paper that says Merry Christmas that I need to get rid of it. So if I'm going to do like a decorative kind of game then I would definitely go to like Party City or go to a place that has nice paper. But if you just want to get rid of paper that you have and you just want to use it up and be cheap like me, then what you're going to do is cut your first piece of Christmas wrapping paper. It doesn't have to be too big. It depends on what price you're using, but you want to make sure that it's not, these prices are not too heavy because it's going to be going around kind of like a hot potato. And you'll see here just in a second. So I always start with my big prize. It's gonna be the first thing we're wrapping. So I got these sour cream and onion Pringles, and all I'm gonna do is wrap them up. Take your tape, seal it there. We don't need all this excess up here, because we're gonna be piling onto the same gift. So just get all that excess off. Kind of tuck your corners and try to be neat as you can on the bottom layer because when it gets to the bottom it's going to probably be beat up from the game so you want to make sure that the bottom layer is like kind of strong and you tape it up like that just as if you're wrapping the pringles for christmas just do it like you're wrapping the pringles for christmas pull it up pull it up strap it up tape it up and you don't need this much paper or tape, guys. Do, do what you do, but I'm just saying. Okay, so we have our first gift. So now what we're gonna do is any excess paper, just throw it away. Just throw it away. So now you're gonna see the first, the, the winner, the, this is the winner's gift. So the end of the gift is the Pringles. So the person before the um, winner, are they gonna get nothing or are they gonna get something? So I'm gonna be generous and I'm going to put something in there. So I'm gonna use a dollar bill. So all I do is put the dollar and I'm gonna put it the same direction like that. And I'm gonna tape the dollar onto the Pringles like that, right? Now what I'm gonna do is take my wrapping paper. Now, if you want it to be decorative and make this a really cool and fun, like neat birthday kind of game, then you're definitely gonna use different paper each layer. But since I'm getting rid of this one for Christmas, I don't wanna hold on to it. I'm, every layer is just gonna be Merry Christmas and the I family will understand. So all I do now is I put the Pringles with the dollar on it and I'm going to wrap this again. Just the same, just the same. We don't need all this excess paper. We can get rid of some of that. You can wrap it all if you want, make it like big and bulky, but I just, I just like it layer by layer. So then I'm going to take this up. 
just like I'm wrapping it for Christmas again. And it's kind of fun if you're playing for like, um, doing it for like a kid's birthday, you can use like each, to each layer, you can put different toys in there. Or what my mom likes to do, and this is where I learned how to do this game from my mom, is skip a few layers. But there's been plenty of occasions where there's been so many layers skipped that nobody really wins. So I put the dollar here, so I'm gonna skip a layer. There's not gonna be nothing for the person before, so the Pringles is the grand prize. The dollar is the person before the winner. This layer is the third person before the dollar, so they're not gonna get anything, but the next person's gonna get a dollar. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut another layer. And remember, it doesn't have to be that big. I'm just actually getting rid of this paper, so it's okay to like rip it up. But if you have really good paper, make sure you, you know, do it neatly. I'm doing it like this rough. So because we, st we got our Pringles, our dollar, we had our new layer, we're putting this in here. There's no winner for this prize, so there'll be nothing in here. So when that person rips it off, they'll be like, oh, I didn't get anything. And they continue the game with the parcel or with the gift. So this person doesn't get anything. And we're just gonna wrap it up like that. Now remember, if you're wanting to waste paper like me, the whole parcel gift can be the same wrapping. If you're doing it for a birthday party, I suggest that you change the paper. It makes it more fun and cute, especially if it's like a little girl or a boy party, and you have like SpongeBob, and then the next pick, the next wrapping paper is like um, Transformers or something like that. You know, it makes it exciting. But my family will know before we start and I need to get rid of this paper. So we have our gift, so we have our Pringles as the final gift. We have the dollar as the second to last gift. Then we have nothing. So now this layer, I'm going to put something only because I think it makes it more fun when there's more stuff. And what I'm actually gonna use for this layer is I'm going to use a dollar, but in change. So when you do that, the best thing to do is take a take a wrap it, take a piece of wrapping paper like this when you're doing change and you just lay out the money so you put 75 25 right you're going to take your tape and you're going to tape your change to the paper now this makes it really fun when it's changed i don't know why i just always think but when the change comes falling out it's not fun because you're scrambling to pick it up so if you just put your change, and get a little more tape on that quarter, it's heavy. And you go like that and you put it like that. When the person opens their layer, they'll see the change like that. And they can just pull it right off and put it in their pocket. So that's the change. It's $1 in change. And it looks like the quarter's gonna fall, so I'm gonna secure it again over here. The person that wins will be able to take the tape off. So we'll just leave it like that so it doesn't fall out onto the floor while they're playing. When they get to that layer, they'll see it like that, and they'll be so excited. Now, you can always put two prizes under one layer, but I always do it one, I don't know why. I guess I should switch it up and maybe put two this time so people can see, but I'm gonna put the next layer, nothing. The next layer is nothing. And you just keep going, keep going until you have a big, and 
remember, all these layers will be ripped off. So if you have, if you want to do it like sloppy, if you're not the best gift wrapping paper, you don't have to like take your time out of your day to do this. It could be sloppily done and last minute done. Just like that. Boom, bop, bop, bop. Okay? And then you keep going. So say we're going to put the gum here. Next layer, we're going to put the scratch off. Next layer, we're going to put the oat milk cream pie. Same thing. You just kind of like tape it there, wrap it up again. So now when the players go to win at the end, I'm going to show you how that works after I just wrap this, okay? So I have the oat milk cream pies. I have a few more dollars. And I have a $50 for the big winner. And I'm just going to keep going. But you see that I didn't put the 50 in with the Pringles. Because the Pringles is the last winner. But the big winner is wherever you want to put them in the gift. So just keep on going. So for this layer, I'm going to do $2. So I just kind of like tape up the $2 and just keep going with more layers. So now that you wrap the gift, you're ready to play. And how do you do that? I'm gonna show you now. So you take the amount of people you have. You take the amount of people that you have. So say it's like six people. You're gonna sit in a, in a circle on the floor. Kids can sit on the floor. You just have to be shoulder to shoulder, but not like too close. Your arm's length of each other in a circular or a square would be fine. And so if my family is all standing in a circle here, I would be starting with the parcel and there would be a music man. So the music man is turned around the other way, not looking at, it, at you for cheating purposes. There was times at parties where we let people cheat because you know of age groups or whatever. So the music man would like look and if one person didn't get the gift yet or didn't get it unwrapped a gift yet, it would stop purpose at him. But in the real world, in the real game world, it should not be that way. Music man should be turned around, looking the other direction, and the music starts. Once the music starts, you hand the gift to the next person, they're gonna hand it to the next person, they're gonna hand it to the next person, they're gonna hand it to the next person, and they keep in rotation, counterclockwise or clockwise, whatever. You can do age groups or age. After it comes back to you, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. When the music stops, whosoever hand that it's in wins. So they get to take off one layer. So say you're like... I got it! It stopped in my hands. So all I'm going to do is just take off one layer of the gift wrap one layer of the gift wrap and they saw 
that they got a oatmeal cream pie. The winner. So now you continue. Da, da, da. Keep going around, keep going around. Da, 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 da. Whoever the music stops on, they take off the layer like this. Just the top layer. You really won't rip because it's taped from underneath. So you go like that. And then you'll be like, oh my God, I got $50 bill. Take it off the tape and it's yours. Make sure you don't wait to scratch. So then continue again. Da -da 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 -da. And I believe that I skipped this um, layer. I believe I skipped it. If you tape it up too good, it's kind of hard for kids to undo it. So they're going to pull up there and be like, oh, I got $2. $2 in my layer. And that's it. You just keep on going and going and going and going around. And I hope that you have fun. Give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. And just some ideas for you guys. If you need any ideas, you can let me know as well. I think for like um, Christmas, it's really fun to do this because of the paper that says Merry Christmas. This is actually for a birthday party, but like you said, my sister's birthday is in January. We just got out of Christmas. I need to use this paper up. I don't like storing and hoarding and all that. So I'm going to use this. For, we're just going to throw it away anyway, so might as well put it some good use for some fun. So if you want to do it with with birthday paper, um, each his own, Christmas wrapping, even some people use like fall fall leaves and stuff, do it on Thanksgiving, do it any time of the year you want for any occasion. Um, a lot of us, we like to do it for Christmas because you could put even like Christmas toys in there, like um, fun things for kids to do, like uh, those little sp um, spindle thingies like a um, toy you know just some fun stuff in each layer and skip a few layers if you want don't put any gift in there so then the person that gets it like oh so there's no winner every time or you can do a winner every time so the last time we did it like i said my mom did the uh did the parcel or the gift and she did like a grand prize at the bottom like how i did the pringles and then she did like a few layers more of candy, like bags of candy, chocolates and all that. Um, when she got to like the five layers before the end, there was completely nothing. So the kids were getting it like stop, but excuse me. And the kids would get it, but then they wouldn't win. And they're like, oh, and I don't want to see that. So this time I'm going in y'all. I'm going to make it fun for everyone. And if you like this video, again, give me a big thumbs up. And if you do it and you want to upload it onto your channel, I'd love to see what you guys wrap and what fun you had. Bye.